All right, what is up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to AFK farm gems in Anime Defenders. A few people in my Discord were asking for this video, so hopefully this helps. Speaking of my Discord, I do have a 3000 Robux giveaway going on right now in the description, and the macro will also be posted along with any additional information. Anyways, let's get into the video. Okay, so just like any of my other macro videos, the first thing you're going to need is Tiny Task. I'll have a link in the description. And first thing you want to do once you have it is go to your preferences and make sure that always on top is checked. The continuous playback is checked every time you start up the farm. Your play speed is on 1x and your recording and playback hotkeys didn't really matter, but mine are F8 to start the recording and Control shift alt to start the playback. Apart from those settings, you also want to check your in-game anime defender settings and make sure that camera shake is off and that your unit info position is left. As for the team, we're going to be doing this on the easiest stage possible, Windmill Village, Chapter 1, Normal. So you don't really need a special team, I'm just going to be using Grey, I guess, the first unit in my team. So let's get into the stage itself. Okay, so this macro is actually easier to record if we clear the stage first. So we're just going to load in here and clear the stage normally. It'll be easier to explain and kind of show you guys what I'm talking about if we clear the stage first. So I'll get back to you when this is over. So once we get the stage cleared, we are now going to start the recording and press the play again button a few times. And it'll immediately replay. So it'll keep you in the same spot, that is an important thing. You don't have to worry about spawn locations or anything. If you get a different spawn than this, you just have to walk into this spot. But now we are going to place our unit. Make sure you try it multiple times just in case. And we are also going to upgrade our unit. And then we're going to end the recording and save that as Anime Defenders Windmill Farm. There we go. Save. With the macro saved, you can start this farm up pretty much anytime you want, but there are a couple things to keep in mind. So, of course, you need a ground unit in your first slot. As long as you can clear the first stage of Windmill, the first stage of the game shouldn't be that hard. Uh, there are multiple spawns, but it won't respawn you every time you retry. It'll keep you in the same spot. So if you get a different spawn, just walk to where I was and then start your farm. And then another thing to keep in mind is if you're using the same playback hotkey that I am, Control shift alt p uh, I think Control shift p is how you turn off ui in the game so i won't actually mess with the farm but it'll just look different i'll show you what that looks like in game so i'll show you if i were to try and start the farm myself i'm just going to load in here and hopefully i'll get a different spawn so i can show you guys what that would look like okay so you can see i spawned like slightly behind where i was before which means i'm just going to walk up to that spot try and get it pretty exact as long as this area is the grass right and make sure i have continuous playback on and now Control shift alt p so part of that, Control shift p turned off my UI, right? So you can Control shift p so you can see it turn on and off. Right now, it would be clicking the retry button if the macro were going. And you can see it places my unit. And it should upgrade them in a second. Yep, and it's just going to repeat that over and over, so it's going to place them, upgrade, retry. So it's going to pretty much clear the stage and retry. So, again, it may be scary if you're trying to start this yourself and you see that the UI is reappearing, disappearing, reappearing, disappearing, if you use Control shift alt p like I am. But don't worry, you can just Control shift p and it'll come back. And with the UI off, it does nothing, right? It's still doing the same stuff. It's not changing anything about it. So don't panic. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the macro. I'm just going to show you guys it in action now, a time lapse as I always do. Thank you for watching, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, maybe consider subscribing, because I upload content similar to this every day, and also live stream on weekends, for the most part. Not today, because I'm feeling quite sick, but yeah. Uh, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and now I'm just going to have a time lapse. See ya.